Welcome to the MiniLaze Pro SE Basic Environment Overview. Uh, this is a short tutorial to familiarize yourself with the layout of the MiniLaze Pro SE software. So we'll start from the top up here. Uh, we do have a normal file menu like you have in most Windows programs, along with your standard toolbar. You have items like new file, open file, save, cut, copy, paste, undo, redo, etc. We also have a zoom bar up here as well. I'm going to jump down to the middle of the screen next. This is your work area. Now this is where the objects that will be created that you will laser mark and this square area represents the available marking window of your laser. So any object that you lay out inside of this square can be marked by the laser. Now, all the objects that we create in here will be listed over here to the left in this object list. From top to bottom, in order of creation, uh, they will be listed. And the laser will follow the order from top to bottom when it marks. In other words, the top item will be marked first, with the bottom item being marked last. These objects in this object list, the items that you're marking, they can be rearranged. You can drag them or right click and choose to move them up or down uh, and set up your marking order. To the right of that we have the object creation bar. This is where you're going to create your objects for marking. You have many shape tools which we'll get into here later in another tutorial as well as text creation, importing uh, image files, uh, vector files, as well as creating barcodes and programming other things like timers, inputs and outputs which are a little bit more advanced. When you create an object, the object parameters will be shown here. Right now, text is showing as that was our last uh, known object that we created. And all of the parameters for adjusting those objects, programming them, changing text, changing sizes, uh, programming your barcode is all located here. We'll jump over to the right side of the screen. This is your marking parameter bar. This is showing you all the available pins. Now, pins represent different uh, types of laser settings that you can apply. You can apply multiple pins within one uh, program uh, or multiple pins to one object. That allows you to use various marking uh, parameter combinations within one program or on one object. And by uh, default, there is a default parameter uh, being used when you create a new file. So to change those, we just uncheck that. And we'll come back to this here a little bit later. Now down to the bottom, you have two toolbars that you'll see. The bottom toolbar we're going to ignore. This is uh, for customers that are using an automatic or programmable, as we would say, Z-axis, where the software is controlling the Z-height. Uh, for now, since we don't have the software set up for that, we have that disabled. So we can, uh, we can come back to that in a later tutorial. Just above that, very important, we have a trace and a mark. Tracing is going to draw the outline of the object, which we'll talk about later in a tutorial, and mark is going to actually mark the object. We do have some other options available here as well, which we'll talk about later. That wraps up the brief overview of the work environment. Next, we will talk about some of the object creation tools, and likewise, we'll talk about some of the toolbar objects.